Hey guys, welcome to Learn Web API in 7 Days course. In this video, we are going to talk about exception handling. So, uh, exception handling in general and uh, exception handling in uh, ASP.NET Web API. Well, uh, when we talk about exception handling in general, so uh, it is like uh, uh, handling exceptions in our normal day-to-day -day programs that we write. So uh, if you are uh, if you have worked on uh, uh, C sharp, then you might be knowing that uh, there is uh, one mechanism of uh, handling exceptions in uh, uh, C sharp dot net, and uh, that is uh, by implementing try catch and finally blocks. So that is like a general way of uh, handling exceptions in dot net code, and. Uh, so, uh, but uh, that, that can also be done with uh, Web API. But uh, on top of this uh, try catch and finally uh, um, blocks, Web API provides a couple of inbuilt uh, classes which we can use uh, to handle exceptions gracefully. So, uh, one of the reason why uh, these classes are provided in, in Web API is uh, because Web API is actually a service which can be used by various clients. So, it is not a good idea to provide the whole exception stack to the client when something breaks in Web API. So, that is the reason uh, Microsoft provided these uh, extra classes for handling exceptions in Web API. So what happens when we use those classes uh, in uh, Web API for exception handling? So we actually uh, send a, a meaningful message uh, to the calling client uh, when something breaks in uh, ASP.NET Web API. So this was basically general overview of um, exception handling. In our next lecture, we are going to see how we can actually use those uh, exception handling uh, classes in ESP.NET Web API. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you in next lecture.